Hi there, it's Gloria with Glory Bee Resale, and I'm just here to do a quick haul. I still haven't got the last haul video up, but I'm doing a quick haul before I list all these items that I got last week. So, first item. I'm a little more organized with the uh, hanging rack this week. So we'll see how this works out. But anyway, the first thing that I bought was this One World, which is, I don't mind One World. I do all right with it. Probably, it'll probably be like a $25 item, but it's a quick sale. It's usually um, not an issue. I don't know about this one because this one is a Halloween one, but I thought it was too cute. It was $3.25. And it's got the jack-o'-lanterns and the uh, maple leaves or oak leaves on the bottom. And it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some rhinestones at the top there. So just a cute little jersey. And this is a size medium. And the back has also jack-o'-lanterns on it. So just cute. I think it'll do all right. I'm expecting again probably $25. The next item was this blouse. It's a Vintage America Blues. I'm not sure on this one. I, I don't think I've ever got this brand. I don't expect that it's going to be a great brand, but again, this was um, $3.25. It was half price. Actually, it's not quite a long sleeve, so it was probably... 275 and I'm pretty sure it was 100% viscose which is a, a good material good natural material and it's floral with the bell sleeves and just a cute blouse um, you know there's a little um, lace here I don't know what you call that it's kind of an embroidered lace and this is a size large so Cute top. I think this will be fine too. Probably about $25. This one here, also not a great brand. I got it for the anchors. You know, it's summer's coming and it's just a simple short sleeve white shirt with little anchors all over it. And this is Laura Scott. And it's a 1X too. It was also a good size. And it's 55 cotton and polyester 45. But anyway, this was also half price. So it was, doing my math here, 275. So I don't know, I figure maybe close to 20, 18, 20 dollars. Next one, not a great name again. I got it on style. And and because it was, again, this would have been 325. This is a long sleeve. And it's Graver Studio. It's a cotton blend. But I got it for the animal print. It's got like a, a zebra stripe, but then it's got leopards all over it, which I thought somebody would like these leopards. Uh, you know, all over the front and back. So, again, this will probably be, I'm thinking, probably 25. This one was a long sleeve blouse. Also, um, $3.25. And this is a Karl Lager, Lagerfeld. And just a cute blouse with the um, a, a little bit of a balloon sleeve and the tight cuff with the lace on the cuff, the floral lace and three buttons. And also has some lace across the shoulders and it's just a very pale, pale pink. And the size on this is a large. So this one I figure, I don't know. I'll probably put it up for 29 and see what happens, see what I get. 
another brand I really like. I don't know if everybody else does. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say they do. It's sold in Marshalls, but I always do all right with it because they do, it's solitaire. And they do a lot of embroidery on their tops and uh, just very pretty embroidered neckline, v-neck, and it's uh, striped the rest of the way and it's got a bird on the back, which is really what I think will sell it is that bird. And the material on this, I don't, I don't think it's, uh, okay, is it, is, is it or is it cut? Nope. Oh, it is. It's 100% cotton. I was surprised. So that's good. Um, but anyway, solitaire, I normally will always do, get probably 28 to 20, 25 to $28. And this cost me six forty nine, but again, I think it was worth it just due to the style. And again, I do all right with that. It's not a, it's a bread and butter. This one is, I've never heard of again. This uh, brand, it's just Evie's Tree Everyday Luxury Everyday Life, Life, <laughs> not life, life. <laughs> Um, the Beatrice, and it's a size large, made in India, and I think this is 100% organic cotton, is it? No, just 100% cotton, but if you can see, it's like a light gray stripe there, and it's just a cute, it's just a cute short sleeve blouse, brand new with tags, so I paid $6.49, but I figured due to it, it being, um, a nice make made in India. I like made in India. They usually do a nice quality. I think I've said that before. But anyway, this one, another brand I don't know. And this is La Fier, Los Angeles, size large. Here's the tag. Oh. I don't know how you do that. It's opposite. But anyway, it's a size large and this has embroidery on the sleeves. It's shot like little balloon sleeves with embroidery on them and embroidery around the neckline. And it's got um, ruffles going down the front and back, you know, it's tiered layers. I, I don't know if I want to call it ruffles, or maybe I should just call it tiered layers. This is 100% rayon, so nice material. And can you see it? It's just like three layers of ruffles. And it's just a cute top. So this one, again, I don't know the brand. I would expect it's at least $25, depending. I don't know what the brand is. We'll see how that pans out. And the price on this was $5.49. And this one was $2.75. And this is 100% linen, blue and grays for loft. I don't always get blue and grays. I like it, but I don't know how, I don't think it sells all that great for me. But being 100% um, linen and such a bright color stripe, I thought was um, fun. So that's why I got it. It does have, and I'll have to disclose this because I just saw it. It does have a little hole there on the bottom. Can you see, see right there in the red? There's a little bit of a hole right at the very bottom by the hem. So I don't think it'll be very noticeable, but I'll have, you know, have to disclose that and that'll have to go into the price. But it'll probably, it'll probably make it more sellable because it's uh, lower priced. And this one here is, I paid $5.49, which I don't usually for Talbot. Talbots, but um, Talbots has a following. 
And the reason I did was because of the embroidery. And this is a linen blend, uh, like 58% linen, less cotton. So that was why. It's got the linen, which we know how I feel about linen in the summertime. And it's obviously, so don't other people. And all this embroidery. And this is a large petite. And it's got the little, I don't know if you could see that, but it's got the little tied off sleeve, which is, I guess, kind of a cap sleeve. Maybe a little more than a cap, but anyway. This one I just thought was um, pretty. I, I hate to turn down Lauren, Ralph Lauren, but... Um, I also don't like to buy, not everything's good. This is an LRL Lorraine Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren, and it was made in Sri Lanka, 100% cotton. I, I don't know if this is just a vintage label or another brand of the, I don't know when they had the Lorraine Jeans Company. I don't see that too much. I feel like that's a vintage uh, when they were doing that. But, and it's like a floral paisley cotton blouse, and it's a uh, size large. It's 100% cotton. So, I don't know, that's not going to bring a lot either. I'm guessing probably 25. This one. I didn't look this up. I know I've heard of it, and I feel like it's a good brand. Um, you know, as a, when I'm in the store, I just don't spend a lot of time looking things up because I'm busy trying to shop. I know, I know I'll get something out of it. I just, it's Fig and Flowers, which I feel like is an anthropology uh, brand. It's a size medium. It's got the little bird in the tree. I'll have, to, I'll have to check and see how to reverse these, reverse it so it's not uh, backwards for you, but I'm not going to do it right this second, so. Again, I, I'm new to just doing videos. This is 100% rayon, and it's a, just a pretty blue floral print, and it's a long blouse. Probably actually would might even do on a medium, it may even pull, be a you could maybe even use it as a cover up at the beach, but I don't have the measurements right this second, but I'm going to say it's probably long enough for somebody who's like a little four or six, which I think is a medium or six or eight. A lot smaller than me. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, I had my days. <laughs> This one here is um, a Coolabara by Ugg, and it's a size large, and it's just a blue tie-dye colorway, um, I forget what you call it, I don't know, going like ombre. Well, maybe not even an ombre, because it's pretty separate, I don't know. But anyway, and here's the back. And it's just, a, it's so soft. It's uh, it's really nice and soft. So on this, I paid six forty nine. I don't know. I don't have no idea what this is going for. But being an egg, I'm going to guess I could probably get 29 I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to say, let's say 25 to 35, somewhere in there. And this, um, I always kind of do well with these. I live in Punxsutawney now, and I probably say it wrong too, but um, this is just a little, punk. I always sell these. I sell them on the internet, and I sell them, I've sold them during the summer too. Um, it's not the Groundhog Day, but it's the Punxsutawney Country Club with the little groundhog there. So, and it's um, a nice, it's a nice soft sweatshirt. It's by Lee. 
and it's a size large. It's a premium cotton, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. But just a just a basic sweatshirt, but I think I'll still sell it due to being in the country club. I don't know who's buying them all, but they sell. I guess we're kind of known all over the world, just for Groundhog Day. They come from all over. Anyway, this one, and that one, if I didn't say so, that was $6.49. This one, it was um, half of that, so it was $3.25. And this is a men's Michael Kors. I don't know what the 80, Michael Kors 81 is. So you can see it across the shoulders. See the 81. And this is made in Bangladesh, a size large. Just a quarter zip gray sweatshirt. It feels nice. It's 73% cotton, 27% poly ester, and just plain but in very good condition. Uh, this one. Yeah, I think I might have paid full price for this, which I don't normally for Christopher Banks. And it's a size large, though I will pick it up. I usually like to get a half price, but because it's summer nautical, that's why it's embroidered summer nautical. So it's a denim shirt, jacket. It's got the lighthouse, the ship wheel, and the, um, what do you call it? Life preserver. And then it's got a, the sailboats along the bottom. And it's got them on the back. So that's why. This will sell for that. And it'll probably sell for, I'm going to say, 30 bucks. I'm probably going to put it up for 35 and um, hopefully get right around 30 Next item is this spider. It's um, a women's spider core sweater. And does it say the size? I don't see it right there. It's probably on the tag. But anyway, it's one of their core sweaters. Um, I don't know if you can see the color. It's almost like a coral. I'd say coral would be probably the good description of it. The spider there, the, the spider spell out there. It's in like a silver thread. And let me see if I get a size over here. Yeah, medium. A ladies medium. So on this, I don't know. I'm going to try for like 35 for that. This one, I have no idea. It's a Land's End. Again, I don't like to pick Land's End up. But I did like that it was in very good condition. And it's the green and blue plaid. I think, I, I'm not sure. I might have had this before. I don't know. Uh, it could have been something else in a green plaid. But anyway. Besides the point, right? <laughs> And anyway, it's a quarter zip pullover, size small, 34, 36 men's. And then this is um, a women's J. Crew jacket, also in very good condition. I don't think it has tags anywhere. No, it's not new, but it it's it it seems like it's new. So I'm gonna say it hasn't been worn much, uh, if at all. This is J Crew extra large, and it's just cute. It's a short cropped kind of jacket. Maybe not cropped cropped, but you know, at the waist, it doesn't go long, and it's got these two little ties there at the bottom. Just cute. Zip front and two pockets. 
I didn't check the box. I didn't check the other one. Nope, nothing. I did find twenty dollars two months ago. Uh, anyway, and there's the back, just a basic, basic J Crew, and this was six forty nine. Right? Yeah, six forty nine. So I think yeah, I'm hoping to get probably about thirty nine for this, just because it's in excellent condition. It's like new, and uh, and it's a cute style for J Crew. So hopefully, this is also was a good find. This is an Eileen Fisher snap front jacket, and it's kind of a kind of a quilted jacket. It's got a um, polyester filling, and it's a hundred percent organic cotton. And it's got two front pockets here: the square pocket, the front pocket, and the it's like a sham, obviously like a chambray. And it's snap front. And just a simple logging look. Uh, extra large Eileen Fisher. The next one, I... Uh, This one was half price at three twenty five. I'm just looking at it because it's dirty, uh, but I think it's just dirt. Maybe even just it seems to be right along the shoulder line, so it might have been from sitting in the closet for many many years. This is a vintage uh, Ken Rose wall by Revere, hundred percent oil on. So this is like a, I'd say this is nineteen seventies. You can see the tag there. Tennis sweater um, with the blue and maroon, that just which was pretty basic. And um, so this will go in the wash, and that should come out, and it'll be fine. And uh, I don't know. Probably gonna put this up for thirty nine, and hopefully we'll get close to that, maybe thirty five, um, because. There are definitely people looking for some of these things. It does look like it had a maybe a repair on the pit, but it's I don't know. There's not a hole there now. But anyway, yeah, both the shoulders are dirty. I think it's just dirt from years of sitting around. So this is. Here. Sorry. Looks like it just hit some dust. But anyway, this is a Banana Republic extra fine Italian merino wool. Made in Hong Kong, size medium, sweater. And it's just a beige, basic sweater. But it's in a nice, fine, merino wool. So right there, that, uh, that is what makes it worth it, I think. I paid three twenty five, so I can sell it fairly cheap. Someone can get it. I, I hate to see. They don't sell as well as they should. I mean, not for as much money as they should for such a fine quality and we're not seeing that anymore um lately they're looking you know you were getting cheaper and cheaper materials kind of like the 70s and you know so you're not going to see as much 100 percent cotton or all these nicer materials you'll start seeing more and more of the fake materials like polyester at least mixed in so when you can find them you can pick them up and so again, I don't know, this will probably, I'm thinking $29. I'm looking at it though, and I don't know if I'm seeing things. I think it's just my eyes because of all the bright lights I'm seeing. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Okay, and this one I picked up because it's a vintage sweater made in the USA and it's 100% acrylic. But, uh, you know, it's a men's cardigan. And I think I'll get 35 to $39 on it. Just a vintage, I'd say, 70s. Vintage 70s um, sweater. And next item is this Tahari, which is 100% cashmere. Crew neck sweater, just in a light blue. Very nice condition. Um, there's no... No pilling on it. Doesn't look like it was worn much. Hmm. Unless I decide to keep it because I could use a cashmere sweater, but I don't know if I'll like the light blue. I usually like, I would, if it were navy blue, I'd like it a lot more. But anyway, if not, this will probably go for 35 to $39. I paid $6.49. And this one is a vintage sweater. I paid $6.49 for this. And it's O'Haller's AS, which I have no idea. Or O'Haller's. But anyway, the reason it's Virgin Norway. So it's a Norway Norwegian sweater. Um, it's got the snowflakes. And it's got a little, I don't know, deer or moose on the bottom. Walk around the whole back and front. So that's what's going to sell it. I don't know on this. Um, I'm hoping that, I, I hope I get probably at least $49 for it because it's um, a, a rare vintage wool sweater made in Norway. All good things. And, and the uh, print is great too. So we'll see. At least, I, I don't know what I'll put it up for, but I expect that it would be at least 49. Ah, this one is a I don't know why I have this. Anyway, I guess I guess uh, it's six forty nine, and it's a locked dress. I usually don't like to spend that much on uh, locked, but I guess for whatever reason I did. And I said I think I said it was a size large, and I think it's probably a rayon. <clears throat> Now, I always tell you I'm going to stop doing that. 100% rayon. I'm good. <laughs> anyway, it's a pink and gray print. It's, it is cute. It's a cute dress, too. Um, it's a pole waist, drawstring waist. It's got two side pockets. And um, I think this could, could be worn to the beach over a bathing suit or, you know, could be worn to work. Could be one casual, I think. Anyway, and it's got the uh, open kind of V neck neckline. I'm trying to. Remember. I don't think that sale is on sale lately, so I think I ac maybe accidentally bought it. I don't. Again, whatever. I just don't usually spend that on something like that. Uh, this one, I don't know if it was a good buy or not. Um, I bought it because it was simple, and I think it was also, it was an extra large, 16, 18. It's a linen rayon blend, which is good. But it's Kathy Lee collection, which is an older brand but it's a simple a simple um sheath sheath dress 
but good enough to wear to work and it can be sold cheaply because it cost me $3.25, so I figure probably around $25. And, you know, it's a good, it's all uh, natural, breathable material, which makes a difference. You know, it just, when they say, you know, it's natural and breathable, some people, as soon as polyester touches them, they sweat because it's not a natural material. This one is a set of Victoria's Secret pajamas, which are, um, they're all right. They'll probably could bring me, uh, I'm going to say, hopefully $29. And this is um, Victoria's Secret medium long. And let me see if you can see the part. The, if these are more of a winter pajamas because there's a, uh, Looks like there's some trees and snowflakes and presents. But anyway, which is fine. And there's a embroidered BS on there. So, again, those should bring me that. These, let me put them there. Another pair of Victoria's Secret pajamas. These are silk. 100% silk pajamas, and these are also like in a pink and gray, materials pink with gray, little gray flowers. And it's just a pair of pants and top, and this is a size medium in 100% silk. And the last item, another Victoria's Secret. This would have been I think they're five forty nine. I think this is one of those little um, slips. Uh, it was a nighty, but these are what they were they using as slip dresses. And this is also one hundred percent silk, floral yellow. It's like a yellow, uh, very creamy yellow, cream maybe, with pink roses. Okay, I'd say cabbage roses. And 100% silk. So this one I expect probably at least $29 to $35. I'll probably put it up for $39 and best offer. And oh, now I'll give you, I do have a few uh, hide good items. I Mostly I just got to put in my booth. I got a lot of like Buddha, Buddha type things. I got one thing that isn't, so I'll show you that. And it's got this um, pottery base pot. It's uh, signed on the bottom, and I don't know what it says. Maybe an H, okay, -R. So anyway, and there's the pattern, greens and uh, beige, and this was $5.99. This I'm probably going to throw in my antique booth. I may put all of these things in my antique booth. Even though they're not antique. You know, I can throw in one or two things here and there. I try not to throw in too many things that aren't vintage. But it's the season. This would be great for someone's yard. Um, I paid $7.99 for it. And I'd probably try to get close to, I don't know, I'm going to say I could put it up for 22 and I always have 20% off, so I take off another 240 so around $19 would be good for me. So we'll see, but that's that was my plan for this one. It was a little, a little high, but it was a good size one. So this one was two dollars and ninety nine cents, and it's a really flashy gold. But I still thought it's a Buddha, but I still thought it was good for the two dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a bank, so. Um, this 
I don't know. Could be, I maybe I'll put it in for 12. Again, this was $2.99, so that would be fine. I'm not looking to make a fortune, but I feel like these are things that will get picked up quickly. And um, that's what I'm looking for, these little things to add up. This one also is like a little, I don't know what you call her. I think they still call her Luna, but anyway, that's her. And uh, this is when you put the scented stuff in and it comes out through the holes, makes things smell better. And this one was $1.99, so this will probably go in for $7. And the same thing with this one. It was $1.99, so. And it's the same type of thing. So I just picked those up because, uh, again, I think someone will want them. I'll just spread them around a little bit. Maybe throw them in a couple at a time. Uh, this one was $2.99, again, little statue, and again, uh, so $3, I'll probably throw it in for $10 and be happy if I get eight back. I know these are not big profits, but again, they're just things that people will pick up. Sometimes when you get someone in your booth, I know I I usually go to one booth and buy a few things. Um, and this one again, a dollar ninety nine with the head, all the holes in the head, and I don't know, maybe twelve dollars on this one. I don't know, maybe maybe not, maybe ten. 10 would probably be good for that. And I did buy three hats too. And this is it. So I got this Chevy, Chevy hat. It does say Ben Bissett's Chevrolet, but Chevy hat, we'll see. I'll throw it in. I have so many hats, and I usually send, sell a couple of hats a week. And when I sell a couple of hats a week, it's probably, you know, at least 40 to $50. I just sold two this week, and one of them was a master's hat, so that got me 45 just for that. But, again, I sell them pretty regularly. And this is a Chevrolet Racing camo hat so with the this has the embroidered letters there so they'll just get listed and they that sits in a under the bed box that's under my work shelf uh, my workbench it's out of my way but I sell them regularly and this one I don't know um I don't know this brand. I kind of wanted to look it up, but I was thinking, I don't know, this might go to my grandson for his snowboarding hat. I don't know, but it's just a vertical and it's got the snowboarder on there. And it's in like a orange and gray. It's a very like, I don't know, a peel fall orange with the dark charcoal gray. So anyway, and that was everything. <coughs> and the dust is starting to get to me. And um, that was everything for last week that I got. I have a whole car full of stuff. I went to an estate sale yesterday and I got a ton. I, did, I went for hard goods, but I ended up with a ton of vintage clothing. It was a dollar a piece. I couldn't say no to a lot of it. Um, so, and I'm trying to think, it's anywhere from, could be the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So, I don't know, hopefully I'll do a video on that also, and uh, 
you'll get to watch that. And I don't know who I mean by you will, <laughs> because I probably have maybe 30 views tops on some of my videos. So I don't think I have any regular followers. If I have one or two, great. I keep a watch out for it. Um, but hopefully I'll get these up before next week's uh, What's Sold of this week. It's Friday now, and I want you all to have a great weekend. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.